Hey guys, what's up? Josh Spoon here with The Producer's Kitchen. And I wanted to show you how quickly to randomize samples. So the first thing you need to do is find some samples. And what I'm going to do is just use one of these hi-hats here. So I'm just going to drop this onto a MIDI track. Drop that in. And to do this, um, I'm going to make a rack. And if you don't know much about racks, definitely check out my series called The Joy of Racks. I go through uh, making a number of racks all on screen, show you the importance of racks, whole nine yards. Check that out. I'll put a link in the description. So group, to make a rack, I'm gonna open up the show high chain list. The next thing I'm gonna do is grab another hi-hat. So a different hi-hat entirely. So if I play it right now, it's playing both of them at the same time. So to be able to have one hi-hat play by itself and another one play by itself, we need to go over to key here. Well, there's a bunch of different ways to do it, but we're gonna use key. I'm gonna move the first one over to C3 and move the second one over to C sharp three. So I'm just setting boundaries. Now when I press C3, it'll play the first one. And when I press W, which is C sharp, I have these two that I can toggle back and forth. But instead of doing that manually, you can set it up to where Live will do it for you. So I'm gonna to go to MIDI effects, random. And then what I wanted to do is have a 50-50 chance of either doing C3 or the note above. So I'm gonna change this to 50 and I'm gonna give it a choice of one because there's, there's only one choice. There's either the original or the one choice. So the mode is random. Right now I'm doing add because I'm going from pressing C3 and it's either gonna do C3 or C sharp three. So really simple, set up random. And if you want it to alternate, you can set it to alternate, choice two, chance 100%, and it'll flip flop for you. Um, what I'm gonna do, actually I'm gonna move this over for this example real quick. So that was a nice kind of whipping motion if you're a drummer or you ever sit and listen to hi-hats. It's a natural thing. You probably can feel it when you hear a song. So once I have this hi-hat set up, I can do another cool thing, add an arpeggiator to it. And I just press C3 and I can just change the rate. So now you have a cool uh, hi-hat thing going. I'm gonna grab all this. So I'm just holding shift. And then I'm gonna put this in a drum rack. I'll move this to the hi-hat section. Okay, so I added a kick drum and a snare to this little hi-hat guy. So I'm gonna put a hat here. Snare, kick, and I made a little beat. And now if I press this down, because inside of this cell is the arpeggiator, the random uh, doing alternates between uh, the tip and the body of the hi-hat. So another cool thing you do, right click, macro one, and then I can I always forget which note is, there we go. So you have the ability, I could just close this up and have the ability to control the hi-hat from here. One last thing I forgot to mention, if you're going to be using notes as you're defining um, boundaries for your chains here, you've got to make sure that you actually pitch these back. So this one that's set at C3 or C sharp three actually is playing the different sample, but it's playing the different sample pitched up uh, one semitone. So you can come into controls and then bring that back down. So it'll actually play its original pitch instead of playing up a, uh, up a semitone. So here, let's do this. There we go. 
that's with it natural playing it's regular and that's it playing pitched up so that's a way to kind of fix that if you end up using notes cool so just in a short amount of time we've been able to take two samples and generate them randomly or be able to alternate between the two of them also add an arpeggiator to um, make it work, do all the work for you and made a little beat. So just gave you a couple examples of how random really works. I'm gonna include the project for this so that you can download it, mess with it. If you want to, um, you know, you can kick me some cash. I'm gonna put it up on Gumroad. I'm Josh Spoon, Producers Kitchen. Uh, please subscribe, like, share, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.